Now, if you'll listen to me for just a few moments. Hey guys, DJ Slink here with part two of my acapellas tutorial. In uh, part one, we uh, looked at making an acapella out of these two audio files. We've got the remix instrumental of the Brat for All Your and just the original with the vocals. And we were lining up um, the waveforms and doing some phase inversions using a utility. And uh, at the end of the last video, I didn't really quite get it in, get it going that well. So I spent a couple minutes and uh, tried to tweak it a little bit. And and uh, let's have a listen to uh, what I ended up with here. It's perfectly in phase right here. It's really nice and then it starts to slip out of phase again. Where I live, that's what they love. So that's what I give. Some foot and foods when they crawl and creep and creep and crawl. It's for all of y'all. Well, who's that making that funky noise? It's the brat tat 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 busting out on that tag. It's not a perfect a cappella, and I'm sure if I spent many more hours I could get it perfectly in sync, um, which is you know what phase inversion relies on everything to be perfectly in sync um, but you know for for use in you know a track or just as a sample or something to scratch while you're DJing or whatever um, you know this technique's pretty good and uh, the results I'm pretty happy with here that's pretty cool <laughs> so um, yeah so let's get into this crazy new technique that I was talking about in the last video um, all right, so this is this technique that we used in part one is called phase inversion, and I think the probably the best way to describe this new technique that I'm going to show you is probably um, it's it's similar to noise cancellation. So um, I can demonstrate this sort of with a a. Fucking hell, fucking PC. All right. Um, okay, what was I? Where was I? All right. So I was going to demonstrate what noise cancellation is. So this is a plugin by Waves, um, and the way it works is it kind of it takes a profile and then uses that profile to remove audio from um, the track that's playing. So let's take a, a noise profile. I'm going to try and grab this little bit here so I've got to be quick I gotta click learn and then press spacebar and then learn again before this sound ends pull a trigger, quick to pull you. Oh, I might try and have another go with that pull a trigger, quick okay pull a so now we have like a noise profile and when I move these knobs up you'll start to hear the effect pull a trigger, quick to pull your card, hold. Make for the is the beat to the heart So yeah, it kind of just um, it uses the profile to remove sound, and you can actually hear the difference and and the uh, the result as well. It's a pretty crazy plugin. So anyway, that's kind of what I think is going on with this other plugin that I'm about to show you. So let's get started with that um, with a new work area here. We're gonna call this output. This is gonna be original instrumental okay and we'll color this so this plugin is kind of old school so we've got to route things a little strangely <clears throat> it's called knockout you can download it from this website here just google knockout with zeros instead of o's and then and the download link is at the bottom it's for pc only sorry guys I'll maybe have a look into it and see if we can get it working on a, on a Mac uh, for another video, but for now, you better go buy yourself a PC. Not that I'd recommend it. <laughs> but anyway, so this is the plugin. The way it works is it takes uh, the instrumental, or what we might want to refer to now as the noise profile, and it then applies that to the original, and hopefully what it will spit out is an a cappella. So we'll have our noise profile or our instrumental coming into the plugin on the right hand channel. So we've got a right, we've got to pan this hard right 
and then route that into the output and set the output channel to input mode and then we need to do the opposite with this hard left straight in there okay um, I'll just add another channel here because I'm gonna play this tune so what I'm gonna try and make an acapella out of is this camo and crooked tune now there's no instrumental or acapella available to buy but I do have a wave which I bought um, so uh, we're gonna try and make an acapella out of this um, so the start of the track I'll just move this marker to the front of the tune and make sure this comes through the video the start of this track is kinda of like this piano guitarish loop and then the same loop happens again but you know the guy like starts singing and it's really cool and shit let me just play the song or parts of the song anyway right so that's like the you know the instrumental part and then the singing come in okay so we're gonna try and get that loving you as easy um, vocal there so I've just split the, the track up so this is okay so this is going to be our original and this is going to be our instrumental or what we'll use as our noise profile and and now let's just play it and see what happens okay so you can hear the acapella coming out of the left speaker and the instrumental or the noise profile coming out of the right speaker so we only want to hear the acapella so let's just get a let's just get a utility and set that to left and I'm gonna tweak like these knobs and stuff and see if I can get it to sound any better Yeah, that's pretty good. Now, this is a this is currently a mono a cappella, but we can make it stereo. Um, you know, this plugin's kind of old, it only, you know, it's working with this left and right bullshit. So, uh, if we just pretend that this these two audio clips are mono as well by dragging utilities onto them and and setting them to left. Okay? I've just duplicated that onto there. And then we pan this output channel hard left as well and we'll actually rename this to output left okay what we can do is just duplicate this whole situation um, rename this to output right just so we don't get confused and we'll pan that hard right and then we'll pretend that these two clips are mono as well but only on the right channel and now if we play everything together we'll have output coming out of the right speaker and output coming out of the left speaker and we should have a stereo a cappella. Pretty sweet, hey. <laughs> it's pretty fucking cool. Let me tell you that. Uh, this opens up some crazy possibilities. Um, you can make acapellas out of pretty much anything, man. Like you could even take like an old school hip hop tune that like literally has rapping over the entire tune, and then you, I mean you could do some serious Frankenstein surgery and figure out what track they sampled for the hip hop tune because most hip hop tracks sample. Anyway, I'm getting to in depth with this example but yeah you could figure out what they sampled recreate an instrumental and then layer that under the original as a noise profile and bam you might even have a decent acapella out of that but you know like this isn't a perfect acapella either it's um it's probably usable it might be fun to scratch while you're DJing or something like that or you could probably come up with some kind of a uh, you know a remix of of it let's listen to it again yeah, it, it's kind of like a dull sounding a cappella. Maybe if we, I'm just going to send the outputs of both of our outputs left and right. 
to this other channel down here and we'll call that master and we'll color this uh, I don't know, green. Oh, and I gotta set that to input. And I've gotta make sure you can hear it in the video. You know, maybe we could EQ it a little bit, give it a bit more highs. I think there's still some bass coming through, so we'll EQ the bass out. Yeah, maybe like a glue, a glue compressor, uh, compression might work. Just choose like a, I don't know, preset or something. Yeah, and you could kind of budget in better than no acapella. Eh? I think it. I think this technique is mind blowing. I was really excited when I figured it out. <clears throat> Just randomly looking around on the internet. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope all this left and right pan and all that kind of stuff makes sense. Um, let me know if you've got any questions in the comments or hit me up on Facebook, uh, facebook.com slash evanslink. I'll put a link in the description. And uh, yeah, let me know if you dug the tutorial. Um, I'm so, I've been certainly having fun with, with it. Uh, this, all these new techniques and whatever. Um, but yeah, cool. Let me know if you dug the video by clicking like or subscribe or give me a high five if you see me out at the pub. Alright, peace out.